It's been 101 days, 17 since the last time the Five Stripes took to the pitch. Last time out against the Columbus Crew, the reigning 2023 MLS Cup champions. And now the Five Stripes get to start exactly where they ended last season. Long sliding our way into 2024. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Fryhofer. Welcome into your AT&T countdown to kickoff. Jason, this is a very similar look to the Columbus Crew from last season. Just Julian Gressel, who made that departure down to South Beach, so they'll be without him. This is a side that I think every Five Stripes has had on the top of their mind since they got that schedule sheet and now it's time to rise from our own ashes of last season to set the record straight. You got the defending champions in the Columbus crew. Anytime you get to start against the defending champions, the team that ended your season the year before, you're going to be pumped up about it. This game's going to have a little bit of extra sauce to it because of that. And you're right, Columbus is pretty much the same team that ended last year. Julian Gressel in Miami, the rest of that starting lineup is back, and they've got another year under Wilfred Nancy. Columbus should walk in as the favorite. They are the defending champions, and they haven't lost anyone significant. They are the favorites right now in the Eastern Conference, which is gonna be a nightmare of a conference in 2024. This is a different look roster for the Five Stripes coming into this season. We saw some new additions in the back line. Stian Gregerson still tapping into that French League 2. More additions there from them. We've also got Josh Cohen, Derek Williams in the back line as well. This created some great competition in multiple positions. And overall, from what you and I saw in preseason camp as well, there's a chemistry, a feel to the yeah. Five Stripes this year that feels different, feels special. Yeah, I think these guys have really bonded. I, I love the way that preseason was set up with a couple of games away from Atlanta early on, but bus trips, you know, guys on the bus, they're getting to know one another. Then you go to Florida for a couple of weeks and, and it felt like this team really came together down there. The personalities are coming out individually and the thing you can never really predict is how the personality of the collective comes together. But you're starting to see that. Guys like Josh Cohen coming in and finding his spot in that locker room. I think Yorgos Yakamakis has taken on a bigger role, a more leadership role with this group, as is Brooks Lennon. And guys like Sean De Silva, who's just a fun guy to have around in that group, who's always gonna keep it light, but then create that hard-working environment as well. Let's touch on some of those X factors now. You said it, Sean De Silva, the Portuguese Peter Parker has just signed a long-term deal, no longer alone, so he'll be sticking around with us. Time to build on what a fantastic start he had last season, beginning right away with that flair in Seattle, with that Rabona showing off the confidence. And Yorgos Yakamakis, like you said as well, he talked about it a lot during preseason camp, saying that the reason they lost against Columbus is not because of that side, but how well they performed and the lack thereof and looking to rebuild and rebuild bounce off of what they showed from last season themselves, not just Columbus. Yeah, Shonday's the guy for me that can transform this team with what he brings to the table. So many times in that second half of last season, you would see it where Shonday pulls that Rabona, where Saba pulls a flair move. And then you start to see that be contagious and the swagger just get through the whole team. Then you got Caleb Wiley and Brooks Lennon pulling moves. Everybody starts to do that. Shonday's the one who can elevate this team to at times being unplayable. At times when he was on last year, he would dominate games. The second game against Columbus to me is the prime example. Atlanta went down that left side early and often. Columbus got tilted to defend on that side because Shonde was so dangerous that opened up space for the first goal to come from the right side. Shonde Silva, to me, is that X factor for Atlanta United in 2024. The Five Stripes during preseason camp were without one of their biggest X factors as well. Thiago Almada is back from the U23s, being with Javi Macherano, his mister there, getting some big results. Captain's armband, countless penalties finished away, some assists as well. One of the best playmakers in all of Major League Soccer, back with the Five Stripes for the foreseeable future. And for this game, number one, we need him more yeah, than ever. He had one of the best performances in that South American Olympic qualifying tournament. People are talking about him all over the world right now. He just joined the team the week of the opener. So, you know, where is he physically? Where is he emotionally, mentally? Putting on that Argentina shirt at any point is a lot of pressure and a lot to deal with. Putting the number 10 on the back adds weight to it. Then putting the captain's armband on adds even more weight to it. That's a lot for a young player to deal with. Tiago Almada maybe isn't 90 minutes ready to go with this team. He hasn't played with them in preseason. There's other guys, Caleb Wiley with the U.S. men's national team, had an injury, a little bit slower on the fitness side of things to get going. Maybe 90 minutes is gonna be a challenge for him. 
This game one is gonna have some unique challenges because of that. But in general, this team is pretty healthy, pretty complete, and you're gonna see a group that I think will see that foundation of how they play, play out in Columbus and start the push to MLS Cup in 2024. This has been your at t countdown to kickoff. It's onward to Ohio officially 17s. You can catch this match as always through the MLS season pass on Apple TV. Mike Conti, Jason Longshore, the gang from 92.9. The game is back north to call this one in what will be a fantastic start to the season. Expanded pregame and postgame in 2024. You got an hour of pregame starting at one o'clock on 92.9 The Game and the Odyssey app. An hour of postgame even on the road. You're gonna hear from Gonzalo Pineda after matches on the road. Abe Gordon, Garrett Chapman helping us out in the studio. Mike Conti and I can't wait to get to Columbus. Sweetwater Brewery, the party stays here in Atlanta as well. 17s don't miss it from noon all the way to 6 p.m. You can stay with us and watch alongside all the other 17s here in the A as we look to get the first three points of the season and head down to Columbus, Ohio. That's Jason Longshore. I'm Joe Freihofer. Columbus, here we come.